Well, you know what? I have had mac and cheese my whole life and I have been a huge fan of it, but never before have I had fall inspired. But bringing us that is the grill mayor and the princess of fire, Craig and Gay Jones. So first off, thank you guys so much for sticking around the whole show. The first looks dish looked unbelievable and this one is going to be unbeatable. I think you're going to like this Ooh. and in fact after you get to taste this you might think this is your life changing uh, dish. I think I think mac and cheese and fall mac and cheese is going to have a moment here so you let's take a look at some of the ingredients. Sure so what we start off here is uh, you know I'm going to cook down a little bit of some onions with Yum. that we then add some of uh, the apples and we also add smoked sausage to it. Ooh. Then we're going to make our roux which is what you do with the normal mac and cheese and what that is is you just add flour in there and you want to cook that flour and then so it's adding a little bit of spike to this is we use some hard apple cider. And that, hard apple cider now uh, what is what exactly is hard apple uh, cider do tell. So it's uh, <laughs> never heard of it before right yeah. Yeah, so we've got uh, so it's a uh, it's a it tastes like apple cider but it's a uh, it's a liquor it's a Ooh. or a drink you know sort of like a beer and uh, so it's a hard cider we add that to it then to give us the creaminess we add a little bit of evaporated milk wow then we put our cheese in it and then it all comes together and then of course you take your pasta and i like to cook the pasta maybe one minute to two minutes less than you normally would because the final thing we're going to do with this is if we didn't have enough cheese and creamy goodness in it mm -hmm. anyway is we're going <laughs> to top it off with and i use a half and half of sharp cheese and some mild cheddar cheese Wow, I bet that that is going to make all the difference. Now, while you're working over here, yes. I want to move on over to Gay. Yes. And talk about the inspiration for this dish right. because there's so many great fall flavors out there. Absolutely. This started out at a cancer fundraiser that we did for some friends of ours. It started out as a lobster mac and cheese, which is great, but we wanted to gussy it up a little bit for fall. So as Craig mentioned, we add that smoked sausage. There's apples in there. There's even sage. And what says fall more than sage in with some of the other delicious dishes like this? I On just, top of all that creaminess. Mm. I, well, I love that this started out as a way to give back, but I love even more the sage and everything. And of course, through TV magic, we have the completed yes. dish. And I think I could cry. I Isn't mean, this, this looks gorgeous? so good. And oh you get goodness. to try some of okay. this. Oh, now, I notice, am so excited uh, about this. Um, we didn't put the crispy mm -hmm. breadcrumbs on top like you do a lot of times with mac and cheese. And the Ooh. reason for that is oh, when you do that. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind here. Okay, yeah, now we're back to the yeah. breadcrumbs. Okay. Yes, yes. The reason <laughs> we do that is a lot of times when you put it on top, people go to get scoops and then mm. they don't get part of the breadcrumbs. So what we did, we toasted some breadcrumbs and bacon and parsley and we're gonna oh. just put that on top so you can get it with every bite. So I also would like to say, you know, you heard him mention the sausage. You can literally get all of the aromas from that and you can see chunks of apple in here. So yeah. is this actually going to be sort of a sweeter flavor than most mac and cheese? Yeah, that's a good point, it is. But it'll be sweet, but then you'll taste just a little bite from that hard cider. It's Ooh, gonna add to it's it. So give it a kick? Yeah, just a, well, not, not a spicy kick, but just an acid kick to it which is that's what we felt we were missing out of our um, lobster mac and right. cheese. So I wanted something with just a little bit more more flavor to it. I know it's hot, I'm oh sorry. Oh my gosh, no, I think it's going to be so amazing and I'm so excited to try this. And I, I don't know if you guys knew this, but I'm kind of a mac and cheese connoisseur. Like, yeah. oh, this was my, okay. this has been like my, one of my favorite foods since I was a little girl. Well, so he's, we, he's wanted, beautiful. we got the moment of, of truth here. Exactly. Here oh and my gosh, that crunch is just perfect. And you really are getting a lot of the flavors. Yeah. Now, is there anything else that if someone were going to make this at home, mm -hmm. like any tips and tricks? Well, no, uh, it's just, it is it is kind of labor intensive, so take your time okay. with it. So in other words, we're toasting the breadcrumbs, we're smoking it. Mm. I like to smoke the sausage first, you know, and so- That there's sausage a lot of, is so good, I just got a bite of it. Yeah, so we're, we're smoking that, that adds an extra layer of complexity to it. And then it's really just being patient, building that roux, building your cheese sauce, and then putting your, um, mac and cheese or putting your pasta in it and as mm. I mentioned probably one of the tips is don't overcook that pasta because we're going to put this on the grill for 45 minutes you don't want it to get all gummy and nasty. Yeah, gummy. You well know. Craig and Gay thank you so <laughs> much for you. coming out here Welcome. that was so good I mean it earns a hug seriously this is like just one of the best mac and cheese I have ever had so that wonderful Bill, of you oh well th no thank you guys so much and, and Bill here yeah. here's what I'd like to say I mean this is a really big dish but uh you know, I'll try to save you some, but okay. no promises. So here's what I want you to do is take some of that <laughs> mac and cheese and put it on some of those uh, chili corn dogs. Ooh. And then we'll just, we'll just mash it all together, a mashup of grill epic okay. proportions. 
Could we actually uh, put the mac and cheese with the chili corn dog? Would that take it to the next level? Wow. Of course. Okay, wow. we're going next level. Next level. <laughs>